Hello, YouTube, James Baker here today, and I have a great call with a gentleman who is calling from Moscow, Idaho, which is a state in the United States, not Moscow, but Idaho, and it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, he is an African gentleman here on Asylum, and he has an interesting story about how his business is growing a lot, and he just got his social, what is he going to do? How am I going to help him? What are we going to talk about? All this and more. Coming up, stay to the end. There's all top secrets. I don't know. Uh, yeah, stay to the end. I hope you like the video. Like, subscribe. I'll see you. Uh, let's go to the call. I'm happy to have you here. So, so tell me, where are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Moscow, Idaho. Moscow, Idaho. Yes amazing potato country so in the u.s so um yeah cool so tell me a little bit about yourself and what's going on and let me let's see how i can help okay so i'm a, um, like i'm originally from africa and i moved into the u.s in 2019 and um, i came in as an asylum seeker like a refugee and then i um, have a removal order right now but um, due to the current administration, I have not been deported yet. <laughs> and my country has been designated a temporary protected status. So I can say I have like two years of stay in, in the US. However, I, I do Facebook marketing for a company and mm -hmm. my social security just came in like two weeks ago. So cool. I was thinking of, I was thinking of starting an LLC and um, having the, the company I market for pay me through my LLC. Now I'm thinking which is the best option, a single member LLC or a multi-member LLC. Do you have partners? I have family back home. I have people I can put up in the LLC and uh, I can I can also do it as a single member, but I'm really concerned about my stay in the U.S. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the U.S. Just in case I have to get deported, like what what becomes of my company? You know? so, sure. So so those are great questions. I mean, I would I would recommend opening an LLC and opening some bank accounts and having some options. And um, you probably easiest to put it all in your name um, to start because you're already in the U.S. and it's easier that way. Um, it's okay. always some, it's something you can always change later, um, but that's what I would do for okay. now. And then you can build it up, build up your credit, and then you'll have access to all of the, a lot of the beauties of the U.S., which is like, um, you know, capital and um, the free market, uh, just like the U.S. dollars. When you, if or if and when potentially you have to get removed so that you'll, you know, you can keep operating your business the exact same way. Okay, so if I get removed, that my like nothing changes in my LLC, and I'll still have access to my bank accounts, and I can always withdraw the money to so wherever I am. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where you're going, but yeah, you can use AT <laughs> you can use as long as they have ATMs, you can use an ATM and take the money out, and uh, you you wouldn't have to change anything um, that way. And then it, the big thing is that you wouldn't have to change. Um, like if, you, if you're doing everything in your own name, it's a little confusing for tax purposes when you leave because you have to file a, a different tax return and you still have to file the same like dual status uh, leaving tax return to show that you're leaving the US and then also um, and do that. But it's generally it's better with a company for many reasons. I mean, legal liability being a, a basic reason that that's already worth it. Legal protection. Okay, so being out of the US and like my social security is still valid and it, it like might it, still come it might expire they might like run, remove it from like work authorization but it'll still work for like putting on forms and get, applying for credit cards because what happens is when you get a social security card um it's it's, it's you don't get new ones you, you know it's the same one always so when you show it to people, once you get it issued, you have it. So for the purpose of like applying for credit uh, and applying for stuff, it, you'll still have it. It'll be a little easier. You don't need the social to open uh, a company though, or, or to open bank accounts. You don't need a social or an ITIN for a lot of stuff. 
you do need it for some things. It's a lot easier to build personal credit with the social. It's been difficult with an ITIN, um, but it still is possible. Um, okay. But it's cool to have. It's very, it's, it's useful to have. Okay. And it, is it safe if I have to, like, my whole plan is setting up an LLC, having all this money getting, and then invest in stocks. So being out of the U.S., do you really think that is a good idea to have, like, money locked up in stocks, dividend stocks, and then I can be out of the U.S. and still be able to have access to my funds? You'll still have access to your funds. It's your money. Uh, it's Dividend stocks are tough when you become... Because when you become a non-resident, you should technically give the banks a W-8 BEN form to tell them you're a non-resident. Um, okay. You wouldn't, you can't change your address to a non-U.S. address. Um, generally, some banks you can. Uh, and with a brokerage account, you, once you become a non-resident, you don't pay taxes on your capital gains. And you actually wouldn't pay taxes on your business profits either when they're coming through a, a company as a non-resident. So it's actually, that's a, another big benefit of not being a resident of the U.S. Okay. Okay, and uh, last question. I have been earning money, although I did not have a social security <laughs> and I had a bank account and this bank account has, you know, it has had so much money run through it. Now I have a social security. What do I do? Do I just go upgrade the bank account and then have some like tax implications or I can close that bank account and then create a new one with my social security? Well, what you're supposed to do is um, pay tax on profits earned while you're in the U.S. And the banks and the IRS don't really communicate. If you didn't have a social, the banks are going to send anything to the IRS. I don't know. How have you been getting paid? With wire transfers? Yes. Okay. So the IRS isn't going to expect to see anything. Now that you are a U.S. person, it would be a clean break to kind of open a business, a, a company account, use a business account. You can leave the account you have open and stop using it, or you can um, close it and open all new accounts. It's it's up to you. I'm not going to, I mean, it's all speculating on like, if you get audited, potentially what would the IRS be looking for? I mean, they ask for all your accounts. They don't always like, they, they have, they, they obviously have the means to get whatever info they want, but they're not always looking for it. Audits are very rare. Um, and, but nothing's been reported to the IRS because you never had the social, you've never given it to anyone. So I would, I'd probably just start now. Not start now, like going to upgrade my my current bank account, or just you know, like just create a new one and just. I probably, I probably, I mean, if you're asking me, like, uh, and you know, off the record, you know, no one's watching, you know, cut the, yeah. the I would, I would probably just like start get you start reporting like open a company account, get paid to that account and start paying taxes on what you earn from now going forward. How do you have a social? That's probably what I would do. And for the stuff before, I would just like say you didn't know what play dumb. I don't know. Um, that's probably I, probably what I would do. Practically speaking, it's not the right answer. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you can make you can make your own decision. The IRS isn't, no one knew about that social and nothing's reported to the IRS. Okay, that is pretty much it. And what what are the I, I have never filed taxes. I don't know how these things work. And I know I have to have a CPA. Like, how is it like if I have to um, have you as my CPA? Like, what is your role and what am I supposed to do? We could try and uh, file 2020 uh, 2021 tax return and get you your stimulus check. Uh, we can probably, because you didn't get one, uh, you you technically probably weren't entitled to it then, but we can still try and request it. Um, yeah, we, we file tax forms, we can file stuff, we can open companies, we can assist you with the whole process. Um, I don't know, how, how's your business doing? Like, do you need help? Are you at the, are you at the stage where you um, would rather, basically, let me, let me break it down a different way. The people that work with me, uh, are busy and they make money and they and they want someone to take care of it for them and do it for them the right way and quickly. Uh, the people that don't work with me are getting started more in their businesses and want to spend more time figuring this stuff out uh, instead of getting it done with a professional. So the, those are the two routes. We obviously can do everything for you, um, but I don't know how, how your business is doing. How, how is it doing? How's the mar Facebook marketing? 
it's, it's doing very good and we are at the point of scaling right now. So everything is looking very, very good. So um, as for running the business, I, I think, I, I don't know if, like the marketing can be done by just me, you know, <laughs> but um, having an LLC set up, I think I, I did that before. So I think I can do it again. But um, filing taxes for that LLC, I don't know if I can be able, I would be able to file taxes. I've never yeah, done that that's, that's Yeah, that's a lot so, more. So reach out to us uh, and we can do the taxes and we can help you with that. Because there might be some, you know, especially towards the end of the year, some tax planning, some stuff we can do um, for you. You know, So what we should probably do is you can okay. get this set up, you start operating, and we can talk again in uh, November or December and do some tax planning and see what we should do and see what we can, uh, what we, how we can optimize your expenses, increase your expenses and defer your income as much as possible to really push this tax off. Okay, that sounds good. And then one other thing, um, me living in Idaho, I, I have watched a lot of your videos. I think you always recommend that you um, register your company where you are. So the Wyoming and um, Delaware LLC is really not a good option for me right now, right? Mm, I don't know about Idaho LLCs. It might work fine. I mean, it's just a regular LLC. Um, yeah, the thing is, you're not really doing, you don't, you don't need like a business license in Idaho. You don't need an office. You're not going to really do anything in Idaho. So I would probably, I'd probably still do Wyoming. And it, it's, it's a next door neighbor state anyways. You know, you're right there. Um, okay. I'd probably, I'd probably still open a Wyoming company just because I don't know about Idaho and the fees and how it works. And, uh, I have Wyoming companies I operate with too, you know, as long as you're not doing, if, if you don't need an office and a business license in the state, you won't, you won't really ever have to register. They wouldn't know. You still have to pay taxes in the state on your profits, but, but yeah, you can still do that. So to say that I don't know anything about Idaho LLCs, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying it for me, I'd okay. probably just not even look into it, just open a Wyoming one. Oh, okay, that sounds good. All right, I would hope to like talk to you again soon and maybe have you um, on this because I'm very new to the tax space. I don't know how it works at all. So um, is there any way I can see your um, rates? And Yeah, I mean, we, we work. We work case by case. I don't have like a, I'm not like the other, like some, some competition where they just have like paper cutter, like paper, like I need this form, this form, this form, it costs this much, this much, this much. It's more like flat fees based on client level. And, um, and you know, I don't like, I don't like to think too hard about the billing. And uh, so I, I, everyone's, I haven't had any issues with it. So it depends on what you need. We have like flat rate renewal packages. Um, but yeah, reach out when you need the help and we'll give you a quick uh, a quick quote and you can and explain how we can help and we can just go from there. So first step, I get this LLC set up, get a business bank account for it, have every money channeled through it. And then I would have to contact you when it comes to the filing of taxes. And yeah, but we should talk before the end of the year because you, unlike many of the people that are watching me on the YouTube channel are paying taxes in the US, you live in the US. So there's yes. uh, there's more stuff we have to look into and to do for you. Potentially oh, pay okay. you pay you payroll, you know, maybe make a company election, maybe retirement accounts. What do you do? What do you, what's your what's your net per month or your sales per month? Do you have any like do you want to share any any details, any fun numbers? Yeah, so um the revenue for the website that I market for right now, um, I think that should not be um it, it, it's not my income because I only bring the 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 revenue to the co company but what i get paid is a per percentage right now is looking uh, somewhere around like to, like somewhere around five thousand a month awesome so That's yeah great. it's it's yeah and we we are still planning to scale by the by the end of the year like to double the income so i That's i great. really have to have everything set up <laughs> No, that's really good. And now you can, now you can get paid easier. You know, you can have, you can yes. get new clients, you can do monthly engagements, you can sell courses, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. So it's really cool. Yeah. Um, congrats. I hope you don't get sent away and uh, 
you know, figure, figure, <laughs> figure out your immigration. If you need, if you need help, I work with a great immigration attorney. If you need that kind of uh, advice too, uh, I'll have my team yeah, reach yeah. out and send you his contact. Yeah, absolutely. Down the line, we're gonna have to talk a little more often. I guess I would have to um, have you on this so that you know I I get the tax headache of my plate because I know it's a lot of things to file. I just don't, I, you have to keep receipts and stuff like that. I really just have to put it on you so that I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, it's better. You make a lot more money uh, doing marketing work than you do doing tax work. Uh, <laughs> so great. So thanks for, thanks for scheduling the call. It was really great to talk to you and we'll be in touch. Okay. And also like for your, um, for people who already have you as via CPA, how hard is it to reach you? Because I know sometimes you sign up with someone, then you, you have a hard time reaching the person. Well, I, I, um, we're working on more channels for that. I'm not like just answering people's calls all day, but, um, I, I do it by being very organized. So if you have a question, we want to solve it. If it's an easy question, I have team members that may be able to help first, faster. And if it's a more complex okay. strategy, you can get me on the phone. Like we, we schedule an appointment. I work on mostly appointments. I do have like a WhatsApp for, it's a different level of client too that has WhatsApp that uh, they can get my my WhatsApp and send me messages on there. But even then, I'm still like sometimes a day behind. But I'm I'm, I'm available. Okay. I work a lot, so I'm I'm, all, okay. I'm, all, I'm around. I'm doing even now. This is a free call. I'm putting this this for like uh, for the people. So I, I hope it's really yeah. helpful. I think it is. Yeah, it is. I I think it is especially for me. All right. Thanks, James. Hope to talk to you again some other Thanks, time. Thanks, I hope the business goes well, and uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. All right. Bye for now. Bye. See ya. So that call went really well. Tong is a nice guy. He's doing marketing, but different from many other callers, he's actually living and working in the U.S. Funny enough, Moscow, Idaho. So if you are living in the U.S., you have to deal with U.S. taxes on a more intimate level. If you're outside the U.S., you want an LLC. You don't have to pay taxes in the U.S., which is amazing, but you do have to do some reporting and all that. And no matter what the case is, if you want to focus more on your business and less on doing these forms, schedule a call with me or someone on my team, and we'd be happy to explain how we can help you because it's really, I'm not, I, I don't want to just do tax work. I want to help you grow your business. I want to help you sell more. I want to help uh, you know, keep the world going around, doing more business, selling more stuff, connecting more people. I love it. So thanks for being here on the channel. I hope the video was helpful. Like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much.